Hey guys, Blaze here with Moose Media. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a review for the Blue Eddy EV3A power station and show you if this product is right for you. Let's get into it. For a while, I've been looking for a good power station that I can take with me uh, to charge cameras, drones, and other electronics when I don't have access to power. In the past, I've tried generators, which are extremely heavy and very loud, or just loaded up on a ton of batteries and hoped that I would make it through uh, whatever trip that I was on. But now I've got a much more seamless solution with the Blue Eddy EB3A power station. It's a mobile power bank that you can use to charge your devices or run electronics that need to be plugged in. You can charge the Blue Eddy EB3A using any basic wall outlet and it is ready for your next adventure. The Blue Eddy EB3A is Blue Eddy's smallest power station in the lineup and it's listed on their website for $399, but they do offer a ton of discounts, so check the link that I'll put in the description below if you are interested in picking up one of these units. The most important spec for me when it comes to a power station is how much capacity the unit holds to charge my devices. The Blue Eddy EB3A has a 268 watt hour capacity if you're not too familiar with what that means, using the EB3A's battery, you can charge a cell phone 25 different times or charge a laptop four different times. For me, that is plenty of capacity to give my electronics enough life to last four or five days without needing external power. If you're interested in running wired devices like heaters, lights, or even something like a baby monitor camera that needs to be plugged in in order to use it, then you can also use the Blue Eddy EB3A. If you plug in something like a lamp or a small light, you'll get about 20 to 30 hours of runtime before the power station needs to be recharged. Now I wanted to go through all the features in the Blue Eddy EB3A power station. There are some things that I was really impressed with when I was started using this unit and some things that definitely have some room for improvement. The EB3A is 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms with all the dials, plugs, and display screens on the front of the unit. It also has a wireless charging spot on the top of the device, which is really convenient. And uh, it also has a foldable handle, which is great for um, moving the device around or picking it up and carrying it wherever you need to go. The EB3A has an LED display screen showing you the battery percentage, input and output power, and it has a time estimate based on your current usage. The unit has DC output, which has a cover, so you can simply open it up. It has two USB charging ports and one USB-C port, which allows you to charge other devices. There is an LED light in the top corner with low mode, high mode, and SOS mode, also known as strobe party mode. In the bottom area, you have two outlets with 120 volts, which is actually really good for smaller power stations. You can run lights, blenders, or other small appliances plugged directly into these sockets. The last section has a connection for your input plug um, to charge the unit, as well as a circuit protector in the event of a short or a power surge. The Blue Eddy EB3A has buttons to turn on the different sections of the device. There is a nice green LED that um, you can see when you turn on a specific section, and that means that section is ready to go to power your devices. One thing to note that is great about this power station is that you can charge multiple devices at the same time. Some power stations have difficulty uh, loading multiple devices, but I've tested the EB3A and haven't seen any issues when plugging in multiple devices straight to the unit. It is a small power station, so when you do run multiple devices, the battery life isn't gonna last you too long, but always depends on the uh, type of devices that you're powering and uh, how much output they require. Another unique feature about the Blue Eddy EB3A is its high power output. At 600 watts, you can run some pretty heavy devices, but you won't get a super long runtime if you're running something that requires a lot of output because it has a relatively small battery. The Blue Eddy has a designated app where you can upgrade firmware and charge various devices using your smartphone. You can select charging speeds, including silent mode, regular charging speed, or turbo charging. Always keep in mind that fast charging devices puts higher strain on the battery and will reduce the battery's lifespan due to the extra stress that you're putting while fast charging. An additional upgrade that some people who go out in the wilderness for extended periods of time might be interested in is that you can connect the Blue Eddy EB3A to solar panels uh, and they do sell those separately online so you can check their website for pricing on solar panels that can charge your EB3A unit. 
One thing that I'd love to hear from you guys is the main features that you like to look for in a power station. If you have some thoughts, please put them in the comment section below. Would love to see what you guys have and it can pos I can possibly incorporate them into a future review video for other p power stations like this. Power stations are becoming more and more popular. They're a great option for mobile power uh, on the go. Always keep in mind that the bigger the battery, the more power capacity you're going to have, but the trade-off is gonna be that the bigger the battery and more capacity, the bigger the size of the unit. So the Blue Eddy EB3A is a great size to capacity ratio. Uh, it's gonna give you the perfect option to go out for several days and power all your devices. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel so you can get notified for my next video. And remember, Share what moves you.